Hey guys, it's Ian from I App Junkie with your Apple news. First things up, if you're a fan of Google Chrome like I am, then you'll be happy to know that Google will release the Chrome browser for iOS devices later this year. According to Business Insider, Apple receives an estimate estimated 50 to 60% revenue share for Google searches though the through the mobile Safari browser, which means for every 1 billion in search revenue from iOS devices, Apple gets around 600 million, while Google gets just 400 million, which would make a lot of sense why Google would come out with uh, the Chrome browser, which makes me happy. But the only problem is they've tried making iOS apps before and have failed pretty bad. Next, if you remember last week, when you asked Siri what is the best uh, smartphone, it would respond with a Nokia phone. Well, if you ask it now, apparently they've tweaked it, and it'll say either the one you're holding or you're kidding, right? And uh, Nokia claims that Apple's messing with Siri's uh, programming to make it uh, favor them. On to more Siri news. Third-party uh, Siri support is expected in iOS 6, meaning you could be having your iPad and Siri, which we could, which could be a nice little touch. It's which uh, iOS 6 as well as uh, the possibility of uh, Siri being supported in the iPad and other devices will be uh, previewed and shown at WWDC 2012, which I will have more news once that happens. That pretty much does it for today. Um, for my app recommendation, I recommend the Line Surfer, which you can pick up for free. That's right, no money at all in the App Store. That's Line Surfer. Basically, what you do, you just it's kind of like any other of the other of the line games you've played. You just uh, you know you surf the waves and you perform stunts and you use your skill to avoid the obstacles and do some pretty cool landings. Um, Go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.